mind and stand. God who was, we worship the God who is, we worship the God who evermore will be, cause he opened the prison doors, he parted the raging sea, my God he holds the victory, there's joy in the house of the Lord, there's joy in the house of the Lord today, and we won't be quiet. Shout out your praise, there's joy in the house of the Lord, our God is surely in this place, and we won't be quiet, we shout out your praise. We sing to the God who heals, we sing to the God who saves, we sing to the God who My name is Sarah. Um, first of all, we're going to have the ushers come forward to pass out our connection booklets, our connection cards. Um, if you're new to Harvest or a returning member, um, we want you to fill out these cards. Uh, basically, this just lets you know you're here, lets us know you're here. Um, and at the bottom, there's a nice little section there where you can include any prayer requests that you have. Uh, we have a group of people who gets together every week to specifically pray over these. So any needs you may have, we'd love to pray for you here at Harvest. Uh, fill out the paper. Tear off the sheet, tuck it in the corner or in the side pocket, and then pass it down to your neighbors. Um, there's also a couple check boxes there. If there's any of the programs in Harvest you're interested in, go ahead and check those boxes right there. 
Next, we're going to go into some announcements here. We've got some fun summer things coming up. Next Sunday, we won't be here at the Activity Center. Um, we're going to have our regular 10 a.m. service over at Chestnut Ridge Park. So we're going to get to worship and praise the Lord outdoors, which is extra special. If you ask me, I love spending the time out there with God. Uh, we want to encourage you to invite somebody to come to Harvest, that friend, that neighbor, that family member who you've been wanting to invite. Summer Sundays are a perfect time to do that. So invite a friend. Bring a lawn chair <laughs> along as well. We will have the pavilions, the same number, 15, that we were at last um, time we did Summer Sunday. And let's make like Psalm 98.4 and make joyful noise to the Lord outside with nothing over our heads. It's just something like a better connection, a stronger connection when you're outside in nature to sing and worship together. So next Sunday, Summer Sunday. Next announcements we have is for the Harvest students' parents. On September 22nd, we're going to have an informational meeting for all the Harvest student parents. Um, Cameron wants to get you all together, talk about the curriculum, any policies and procedures, changes to the program. We want to make sure all of the events get on the family calendar because those affect all of the scheduling of people. Um, go on to the app. Let us know if you're going to be there. It is right after the Sunday service, and lunch is included, so make sure you put on there. Um, let Cameron know if you want lunch for that meeting. So September 22nd, all your Harvest students' parents get that event on your calendar and sign up on the app. Next, today is the deadline for baptisms. We're going to be doing baptisms at our fall kickoff on September 15th. So if that's something you're interested in, please go to the app or our website and let us know that you're interested in baptisms. There's also a checkbox on your connection card. Um, if you're interested in getting baptized for that fall kickoff, check those boxes, sign up on the app, and we'll touch base with you, give you a little bit more information about how that'll all work um, for our fall kickoff on September 15th. All right. Now, church, this is the loveliest place, right? That's what we learned in the spring. This is the loveliest place, and we're all about unapologetic preaching here at Harvest. We believe that God's, work has, God's word has authority over our life, and we believe God makes known to us the path of life. In God's presence, there is fullness of joy, Psalm 1611. So we're excited to listen to the word preached from one of our elders, Josh Bond, in just a little bit here, but... Don't let Josh be the only one who's unapologetic in their preaching. Be unapologetic in your preaching. We sing as we sing. Think about the words that you've read. As we pray, use God's words in your prayer. If you're unfamiliar with the word, think about what you read. I'm sorry. As you pray, use God's word. And if you don't know God's word, seek it out today. When you're listening to the message, lean in. Try to understand fully. Ask God for help understanding the message. After the message, connect with others. Talk about what you've been learning on God's word today. Reach out to others and tell them about what you've been learning. Unapologetic pre preaching is what we do, but it should impact so much of who we are. It's not just about the Sunday message. Each one of you can be unapologetic preachers in every day of your life. Amen. Now we're going to transition to the time of giving. I'm going to invite the ushers to come forward again. On the screen, there are four ways to give if you prefer to give electronically. Um, if you're a guest to Harvest, please, there's no obligation to give. This is an act of worship for those of us who call Harvest home. Um, and then with that, we'll pray and then pass the offering. Dear Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you for allowing us all to come here today. We want to thank you for having the opportunity to hear unapologetic preaching. I just ask that you'll help us to lean in to that message, to really hear and understand and to make that deeper connection with the message that we're going to hear. Help us to be able to take that word and then turn and preach it out to others, to spread your word in a true way. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to gather together, and we just ask that you put a blessing over this offering and help us to utilize it wisely. We thank you and praise you in your son's name. Amen. There is none like you among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like yours. All the nations you have made shall come and worship before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wondrous things. You alone are God. Go ahead and stand with me 
as we sing the next song.
the one who opens up the ocean. I need you now to do the same thing for me. God, I need you. Oh God, my God, I need you. Oh God, my God, I need you now. How I need you now. Oh rock, oh rock of ages, I'm standing on your faithfulness. On your faithfulness. boy courageous I may not face Goliath but I've got my own giants oh God my God I need you oh God my God I need you now how I need you now oh rock oh rock forever to the Lamb. And if you walk in freedom, and if you bear his name, sing the song forever to the Lamb. As we sing these words together, church, I pray that you would just, you would just read them and that you would not just sing them, but you would think about what they mean and yeah, worship together. So 
all come together and worship you as a church freely. And Lord, we think about the lyrics that we've just sung. All thrones and dominions, all powers and positions, your name stands above them all. And we thank you, Lord, that anything in this world, spiritually or physically, you have power over it and that we can always run to you if we need it. <laughs> 